Hey folks, AJ here, and I think we need to stop live streaming our church services. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So it's kind of interesting that I say um, I think we need to stop live streaming, especially when my channel is about trying to help um, train churches on how to live stream better. And that's the reason why I'm saying we need to stop live streaming. Live streaming is all cute when you can say look we're on youtube we're on facebook we're on our website we're on this we're on that you can find us here and we put a nice little camera in the back of the sanctuary and we just live stream and you know and it's it's cute it's cute it's cool we're 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 in with um modernizing our media ministry and we're doing more why do i think churches need to stop doing it I honestly think if you're live streaming and you're not trying to invest everything that you need to into this as a viable um, ministry, there's no point in you live streaming. The reason I say that is sooner or later it's going to get to a point where you're going to have to put the same amount of effort and resources into what you do in your sanctuary service that you do into your live streaming service. You, you know, they're like, why are you live streaming in the first place? Do you not realize that there are times where it's going to be people who are watching who need some need prayer? There are going to be some people who accept Jesus Christ. Are you prepared? Do you have people who are monitoring that and are ready to step in and help those people who are online that they're physically probably never going to meet, but be able to minister to them? If you're just live streaming just for the sake of saying you're live streaming, you need to stop because this is not just a toy. This is something that is very important that can reach and touch and change lives. And it is a tool. But at the same time, it is going to get to a point to where you need to have people ready to be on watch and chat, um, reaching out, helping, serving, ministering to people who need help uh, a prayer line a comments being able to somebody like right now if you're live streaming and somebody sent out a comment saying that oh my gosh you know i i feel like that my life is over because of this situation and blah 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 how are you going to handle that are you just going to ignore it because honestly out of the churches i've dealt with they don't have anybody that's just monitoring their chat and they're actively there to help wayward souls and whatever situation that's going on, whether it be prayer, it's, it's for comfort or something like that. It's going to get to a point. It's not just about putting a camera in the back of your sanctuary and just saying, go to our website, check us out on Facebook, check us out on YouTube. You need to start having and investing in staff people that understand that this people watching are just as important as people who are physically here and we need to pay attention and care about them just as much because you you we're this is meant to touch lives and reach and impact other people but if you're just doing this because you think it's cute then you, you you're sabotaging the this whole area that's now available on how we can minister. It's not necessarily we have to send people all over the planet anymore. We can reach them, but are we as a church who are engaging in this new little hobby, are we prepared to do everything that needs to do when this when the floodgates open up? When you start having more people watching online than you have people in the sanctuary? Or when you start actually um, opening this up to your sick and shut in members who are there and they want prayer, they want interaction because they can't physically get out here or they, they're in a nursing home and you have people who haven't been to the church in 10 years because they, their ailments won't let them be there. Are you, are you ready for that? Because honestly, if you're, if you're not ready for it, I am 100% am suggesting that you don't need to live stream 
because there are a lot of things that go along with that, a lot of responsibilities that we just can't gloss over. You know, um, I don't know about everybody else, but your your pastor or your leadership or whoever should know what's going on. Are you communicating the same message that he or she is doing physically there? Are they doing the same thing? You know, or is it, again, just a camera that's put up in the back of the church and it's just a window into what's going on? You know, that's kind of like my thoughts. And I think the reason I talked about this is because we, we had a similar type of issue to happen, not at my church because I wasn't here, but I just saw something similar like this happened. And it was like the church I was watching, they had people that are doing that. And I'm just like, you know what, that's really powerful. Um, if we had an issue where somebody needed prayer in a certain situation and they commented that way, are we able to notice that when it happened or we just notice it after the fact that we just happen to go to our live stream after the fact because we're so focused on just what's going on inside the four walls so hope that gives you some food for thought and this isn't normally the technical stuff that i talk about but again it's not just that you can have all the technology all day long but if you remove the human element in it it's pointless you're just a robot so but we're not meant to do that we're meant to touch and impact other people with what we're doing and the technology helps us reach them but we're still on the other side of the camera is still a person who has feelings concerns fears worries and what we're doing is leveraging the technology so that we can touch that person heal that person help that person in whichever way is possible especially from what i'm doing here is from a church standpoint so I hope y'all get this. This is a little bit different than what I normally talk about. And we'll be back to the technical stuff here, but just wanted to kind of drop that in your mind and really think, are you just putting the camera in the back of your church or are you doing this so that you can actually minister to other people? And are you prepared for what needs to happen when you actually have to minister to people on the other side of the camera? So anyway, guys, this is AJ. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, and we'll see you on the next video. Later.